So we're given the system over here where you have two heat sinks at temperatures T0. Um, basically, having a heat sink means that you're at a constant temperature. And you have heat flux that's entering from the top. The bottom is insulated, so there's no heat transfer that's happening in that direction. What we want to find is the uh, steady state temperature distribution within the plates, uh, which is this bar all along this way. Um, so we've defined the x-axis to start from this boundary over here and head in this direction. Um, so the first thing that we can actually do is consider a differential control volume within the bar. Um, so you know that whatever is entering is going to be, we can call it Qx. What's leaving is Qx plus dx. So that's just a certain amount of heat that's happening um, a little bit down the volume, where the width is dx. And we're also given that you have a differential amount of heat, dq, that's entering. Um, so if we apply the conservation of energy, a balance, then we can actually say that qx plus dq is equal to qx plus dx, uh, which is simply just whatever flows in has to flow out. If we consider um, qx plus dx to be a first order Taylor series approximation, we get that qx plus dx is equal to qx plus dq by dx times dx. Um, since we actually know the flux, um, and we're given a value uh, q0 prime, prime uh, we know that dq is equal to the flux times the width, which goes directly into the page or into the bar, um, times a differential, times dx, I'm just differential element. Um, so if we want to simplify this, we can get an expression for dq by dx, which is equal to q0 times w. We're going to call this equation 1, and um, we'll need it later. So the next thing we can do is actually apply Fourier's law, and um, because that relates the flux to the temperature. Uh, let me start here. So if we want to apply Fourier's law, um, that gives us that the flux is equal to minus k by t by di x, um, which, and basically we want to solve this so it's an energy balance, so we want to multiply both sides by the area. Um, and I'm going to call the thickness, actually, uh, I'm going to call the thickness value for t. Um, so we want to change this to be an energy balance instead of a flux. So we're going to multiply both sides by the cross-sectional area. That gives us that the flux times wt is equal to minus k wt dy t by dy x. And the left side simply will simplify into uh, the value for qx as equaling minus k wt dy t dy t. So now we can substitute this into this energy balance over here where we get that di minus kwt, di t by di t, uh, sorry, sorry, these are values di x, um, all by di x minus q naught times w is going to equal to zero. Um, so simplifying this a little bit gives us minus k wt di squared t by di x squared minus q naught times w is equal to zero. We can cancel the w out and uh, solve for the temperature profile. This gives us di squared t by di x squared plus q naught um, over kt is equal to zero. Integrating, you get that uh, dt dy t by dy x plus q 
naught over kt x is equal to c1. And the temperature profile is equal to q naught over 2kt x squared, uh, sorry, plus this term is equal to c1x plus c2. Solving for the temperature profile, Tx is equal to minus Q0 over 2kt x squared plus C1x plus C2. Um, so the, basically we can apply our boundary conditions now. Um, because we actually know the temperature at x equals 0 and x equals L is equal to T0. When we apply our boundary conditions, we know that t of at x equals 0 is equal to t naught. Substituting, that gives us t naught is equal to c2, quite simply. And the next boundary condition we can apply is that we now know that tx is equal to minus q naught over 2kt x squared plus c1x plus t naught. Uh, we know that at TL, this is equal to T0, giving us minus Q0 over 2KT L squared plus C1 L plus T0. Uh, when we simplify for C1 or solve for C1, that just gives us Q0 times L over 2KT, giving us an entire temperature profile of minus Q0 over 2KT times x squared minus Lx plus T0. Okay. Um, so the second part, so this is the entire temperature profile. Um, the second part of the question asks to solve for, we want to find the rate of heat transfer from the bar to each of the sinks. Transfer from the plates um, so we can do that from Fourier's law. Uh, giving us that flux is equal to minus k di t by di x, which gives us to uh, which gives us minus k, and I'm just gonna substitute in this term over here because that's probably the simplest thing we can do instead of differentiating that again. Um, giving C1 minus Q0 over KT times X. So by subbing in the value of C1, that gives us minus K times Q0 L over 2KT minus Q0 over KTx. Simplifying, uh, this gives Q0 over T times L over 2 minus X. Since we also know that um, Q is equal to the flux times WT, we know that Q is equal to minus Q naught times W times L over 2 minus X. So the last thing we actually have to do is just substitute the values of X equals 0 and X equals L uh, because we've essentially solved the generic equation for the flux at any point within this plate. So at X equals 0, we know that the value of Q is equal to minus Q naught times W times L over 2, uh, which gives minus Q naught W L over 2. And at X equals L, we have that Q is equal to minus Q naught times W times L over 2 minus L, giving um, essentially the same thing, but a positive value. So note that, um, the values are, like one value is positive and one value is negative. 
And because we know it's a heat flux, that simply determines the direction of the heat that's being transferred.